Hello, Masters of the Hindenburg, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Last time, we actually came sort of face to face with Booker, or with uh, <laughs> Father Comstock, at least a projection of him. But he did talk directly to us, so that's sort of, you know, something there. Uh, this time, we're gonna go and try and find Elizabeth, like we've been trying to do. <gasps> it's a nun! Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I won't. I'm not gonna. Not gonna hurt her. Why would I do that? It's just like, no point. The word of the prophet. Of course. I'm sure I can get this thing going. Oh, no biggie. Oh, there he is! And I'm just a prophet, prophet. So I don't have to. Amen. Amen. What kind of rule is that? Oh, whoa! Wait, what's she... <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting that. Uh, oh. Uh, well, here we go! Oh, jeez. Where am I going? Where am I going? No, I just... Wait a sec. If I fail, it just... Okay, I see. It just puts me back if I fail. Wow, so he's got kamikazes on his side. He's got some zealot... Well, he obviously has some zealots going for him. That much was obvious. Oh, are we actually on Monument Island now? Tower protects the land. Oh, Elizabeth is here, isn't she? Sweet. I want to finally meet. I know what she looks like, but I don't know like what her personality is or anything. And that's important to me, you guys. With girls, it's important. Cause it's not just all about looks, you know. Although it's partially about looks. I am just being honest with you. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so there is something I want to talk about oh, uh, in this video. Monument Island. Oh, th I'm sure this, this is going to be really cool. So, um, it, it's with regards to this got being, up in this place. yeah, this being compared to Bioshock One, and you know, this one's clearly a lot different than Bioshock One, and I think that makes it better. Not because Bioshock One was bad; it was great. It's just that they're trying something different, and they're succeeding so far, and. A lot of people are complaining that there's no horror in this game, which, yeah, there's not really any horror, at least up until this point. Um, and they're like, you yeah, know, Bioshock is supposed to be, oh yeah, it's supposed to be sort of a horror game. It's supposed to have some scares in it. It's supposed to, you know, be good at that. And without that, it's not really Bioshock. But to that, I say, you are being scared of change. I realize that you're sort of hanging on to your nostalgia there, but you have to remember. When Bioshock 2 came out, people were complaining that that was exactly the same as Bioshock 1. And now people are complaining that there's no, there's not enough similarity between Bioshock 1 and the new Bioshock. So it's like, what do you guys want? I was like, who is that? Box of phone. I'll continue with my thoughts after this. I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, favorite you know, character. Politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me because I'm some half leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got to talk about the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. Oh, I love you, Cracker. That's awesome. But yeah, I mean, like. I don't know, I'm really enjoying this game, and no, it, it doesn't have any horror elements in it, but it doesn't have to, to be a good game. It doesn't have to, to have that Bioshock feel. And it is a little bit different, there's not as much explanation as far as, like, the vigors go, or how the city got founded like there was with Rapture, but you also have to keep in mind that this is a religion-based society, and that's based on faith, which offers a lot less uh, detailed explanations than a place like Rapture, which is filled with scientists that have their constant logs of everything they do. You know, so it's obviously going to be different. So I don't know what you would be expecting, you know. But I, I for one, am really enjoying everything about this game so far. They've added new stuff, which is good. They've, they've switched some stuff around. They've done reduxes. It's really good. I like it. Uh, siphon passive. I don't know what that means. Transpose number two. Please do. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have no clue what that did. Huh. That's what I said. Maybe it'll be important later. Specimen is dangerous. Failure to... Nothing in here. Well, this is going to jump out at me. It's going to be like right behind me, isn't it? No, I guess not. It's, oh my god, so... <laughs> this is actually reminding me of this one part in Bioshock 1. Where you're, you're like in this weird room. And it's, got, it's covered in like ice. No, oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and listen to this guy. Uh, Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass. And the lights were all in working now order last night. Doing to her. There they go again. We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late. And they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! oh something's happening! Oh, ah! oh no, Ty. I'll miss you. It's kind of weird. I oh yeah, so this was just one part of this, you know. Right, but well, of course they've been watching her. Locked her up. Well, like you turn around, and there's a guy that's just staring straight at you, and he's standing directly behind you. And I swear, I freaked out, and I had recorded it, but then that recording got lost, which made me really sad. So I had to re-record that, and my reaction. Well, it didn't happen twice, so I didn't have a reaction to it on camera because it wasn't there. But <laughs> my first reaction, I like jumped out of my chair. It was great. It was just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't see it coming, but it was great. Do not approach Siphon while Specimen is awake. Oh, is she in here? It is one thing to imagine one's future, and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor. Because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy, knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. So, if I just say I'm gonna go home, you're just gonna die, and then I can come back. That would be cool. Okay. Are you just taunting me with all that stuff? What the hell's that? All the numbers. What does it say? Well done. The example phrase has been deciphered. I'm sure. Okay. With all those symbols back there. Alright. Interesting. This is Rocksmith. I wonder what's going on back there. Alright. That's where we need to go. Dressing room. Mmm, yeah. Actually, um, could someone tell me how old Elizabeth is before I start making certain comments? <laughs> I don't know how old she is. She might be too young, in which case I will refrain, obviously. Well, I'll refrain just in case, anyway. Once, like, find out other ones. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she looks... Looks pretty. Just not 18, so. <laughs> she reminds me of that lady from yesteryear, the show. That's what she looks like to me. Oh, she wants to go to Paris. Yeah, she's nice looking. Let's go, save her. Are we just gonna like sort of watch her? Are these are these like observation platforms? Because that's weird. Yeah, they totally are. Whoa! 
Whoa. What? What? Whatever that was. It's got nothing to do with the job at hand. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Just that was really cool. Which okay. I wanna see more of that. Let's see. Can I see that again? Lizzie? I'm just gonna call her Lizzie. Why not? <clears throat> what makes the girl different? I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. Wait, is that the lady that, that's been tracking us? With the gentleman? Rosalind? I keep that in mind. Here she is. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Paris is not. Well, I, I don't know. I say Paris isn't that incredible, but like, I, I guess I'm not really that into like giant cities because I hate LA. Like Paris was definitely better than LA. Um, but I, I like the countryside of France better than Paris personally. But like, if you want to go see the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre and, and the Arc de Triomphe, that's fine. Do your thing. Just not my style. Of course, my style is not everybody else's style, so I'm not going to be like, Nobody should like Paris, blah, blah, blah. No, I just, I'm saying I don't like Paris. It's just, I mean, it's a nice city, definitely. I, I would just rather be in the countryside. Holy shit. All right. I can do this. Yeah, you've done scarier things, right? Although, come to think of it, how have we not had our ears just, like, exploded from pressure? Because we're constantly going up and down here. Especially in the initial launch. Like... <laughs> I guess... I, I guess it's okay. It was just like a lot faster than, than airplanes rise, you know? So I figure it's... Probably not great for your... Oh, whoa. Oh! Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, oh. Hey! Knock it off! Stop it! Will you stop it? I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you get out of here. Get away! <gasps> are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Get you out of here. There's no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it. You're you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way out, isn't it? What are you... Give it to me. Oh, man. Do you have any goodies in here, Lizzie? It's a way out. Nice. I can see how the... What? Oh, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't open the door? Oh, yes, I can. Come on, <laughs> Never mind. I can see how the throwing of books would be an appropriate reaction. We'll see about that. Who are you talking to? Who are the you? hell's that noise? You come here? <laughs> to love you. But no, I said I'd refrain from the comments. <laughs> Oh man, this is intense. Wait! Whoa. Whoa. Actually... Oh jeez. Pretty sure I know exactly what that is. Call the elevator! What? The hell is- Press the button! What is all this? They were watching me? All this time? Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh. 
Holy crap! That thing's huge! Okay, you need to jump, lady. You need to jump. Or I need to this jump. Way. Let's go. Is that it right you know oh, man. Not now. Oh, this is intense. I'm liking it. Maybe if you would stop being faster than me. Out of the way. Let Let's me open try. that. Which way? Oh. oh, man. I just want to be quiet, so the, uh effect of the scene can kick in, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second. That thing is intimidating. Oh man. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Bring us the girl and wipe away the dead! Oh, no, she's she's being all crazy too. Are you in there, DeWitt? Um, respawn, man. What One second. I need some time. Tell me what you want with her. Open this door. Respawn, man. Hold on. Checking for goodies. Tell me what you want. Fine. So, wait, wait, wait. Can I open the store instead? No. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Anna. 